So there's an add-on for distributing objects that are not created uh, via an array. They can be several different objects and it's uh, something that I had used with Oscar Art add-on before but then that's taken out of Blender. Uh, so now there is a f an add-on that just does that. It just distributes your objects and in Blender Artist you can search for Distribute Objects add-on and then down here um, is the Python file you can download and it's uh, different than most add-ons and uh, in how you install it. There's also <coughs> here on Blender Market for four dollars if you want to support the, uh, the coder and you can download it there. There's also documentation here and we'll go over that and how to use it. Um, so let's say you've got a cube and let's uh, shift D duplicate it, shift D duplicate it, shift D duplicate it several times and then let's also add another object that's uh, different. Shift D duplicate it. Okay, so you've got these objects now and they're all on the same location. So if you go over here in your outliner you can uh, box select the cube and then uh, box select uh, the sphere and let me turn on screencast keys. Okay. Um, before before we get into that, let me show you how to install it. Um, after you download that Python file, you just go to it, you find it, and mine happens to be here. And it's just a Python file, it's not a zip file, so you just select that and you install it. And then you won't find it here. Well, excuse me, I'm sorry. You will find it here. Um, distribute objects. It will be in your add-ons folder. So you <clears throat> enable it by checking it. And it will be in your transform menu. So, for example, if I select something, then object transform. It's right here, distribute objects. So let's go over here and, and box select again all the cubes. <clears throat> and shift box select all the spheres so we have all our objects selected and now if we go to transform distribute objects you can see it's trying to do something but you come down here to tell it where to do it and uh, I'll have to move this screencast key off of there uh, let's see offset There we go. Okay. Um, so the start point right here defines the place in the scene where objects will start to be arrayed. Options include 3D cursor, active object, scene origin, and active object is the default one. And then sorting, you have no sorting, you have sorting by name, by X, Y, Z coordinate. And uh, here's how it works. If you want it to be all along the Y axis, first of all, you need to set count on the X and Y to 1. All right, that wasn't what I wanted. If you notice there's no uh, Z count and that's because you just need to tell it how many you want on the X, how many you want it on the Y and it goes through in this order X, Y, Z. So if you just want it on the Y um, the spacing on X would be 0, the spacing on Y would be uh, whatever you want to make it, the spacing on Z would be 0 and now 
well, you need to increase the count on y to the number of objects you have. And if you go, if you go past that, it won't add objects. So we got uh, we got 12 objects. And then if you want to increase the spacing on the y, you just increase the spacing on the y. If you want to uh, distribute them on the x-axis, you would make the y count 1, and you would make the x count 12, and you would change the spacing on the x. And then now they're on the x. And if you want them to be distributed on the z-axis, you would make the x and the y 1, because you want you want one row, one column on the y, and one column, one row on the x. And then the z would get the spacing. And that would be the only left, only, only direction left for them to go. And that's how you get the xyz distribution. Um, now if you, if you set the count to 2, say, for example, on the x, and then you add a space on the 2, spacing number it'll go on the X and then when it gets into 2 uh, or whatever the count is you have here it'll go to the next row and go up same thing with the Y and then you have, but you have to put a spacing in there and so uh, it just goes XYZ XYZ so it goes along the X until it runs out then it goes along the Y and it goes up. And that's how you can distribute your objects evenly in any XY direction. And that's a pretty cool add-on.